us and bless the joining together of Everell and Tyra in Christian marriage. The covenant of marriage was established by God who created us male and female for each other. Jesus graced the wedding at Cana of Galilee and in his sacrificial love gave us the example for the love of husband and wife. Everell and Tyra come to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. You may be seated. And I'm going to have you declare your intent so that everybody knows that you were forced into this. Okay? <laughs> Already. I ask you now in the presence of God and these people to declare your intention to enter into union with each other through the grace of God who calls you into union with himself as acknowledged in your baptism. Tyra, will you have Everett to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health? and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. If this is so, please say, I will. I will. Ever, will you have power to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I will. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. And who allows this man to be married to this woman? I do. At this point, we are not in the bulletin, but um, you have two sons, right? You have one, and you have one. Good. The same one? <laughs> All right. Because it's just the one. I thought you were going to say one. So let's continue with the, with the ceremony. Uh, Reverend Fayweather, could you do the scripture passage? Faith, 
hope and love abide. These three and the greatest of these is love. as a marriage requires. So you can't just jump into this and figure somehow because you knew each other for years that that means that you're going to be patient with each other automatically. It doesn't happen like that. You have to grow into this and there are going to be times that everyone will do things that are going to get on your nerves and there are going to be times that you're going to do things Farah, that will get on his nerves. But here is the thing. If you're patient with each other, you know that eventually change will happen. You can't change him, and he can't change you. But patience will make the difference. But it also says that love is kind. You know, this, this kind of kindness that love has, is that you will do things for each other without even having to be asked. Because you care that deeply about each other. So no matter what, what might be going on, you might feel upset about things or frustrated about things. If you remember that love is kind, you will remain, remain in a kind mood to each other. Now let me tell you something about the love that is in this passage. It's not some kind of fuzzy, fuzzy, um, huggy, huggy kind of love. Here. This love is a, it comes from the Greek word charis, that we know charity comes from. Where in the in the um, King James version, we we'll say charity is patient or charity is kind. So understand something about charis. It's the word for grace. So understand now, you are going to give the other person enough grace, space to be themselves. And understand now, you fell in love with the person. <laughs> Not something about the person, but it's the person. Good, bad, and ugly. But it's grace that's going to bring you through that. So if you give the person enough grace, they will find their way together. But let me say something else to you. It says that it bears all things. It believes all things. It hopes all things. It endures all things. Now sometimes people get carried away with that. When it says it bears, it bears all things and believes all things, it's between you. Not what other people come say to you. Because you love each other that much, you will believe the best in the other person. And will believe the person for the best as well. So whenever you think about um, the ups and downs that marriage life will bring to you, Go back to this passage. Remember that the love you have for each other, and it's a love, it carries, it's a gift. It's not something that you can muster on your own. It's something God gives you. Something God gives you. Put another way, he done give you already. So it's for you to activate that. It bears all things. It believes all things. It hopes all things. It endures all things. Love is patient and love is kind. My prayer is that this is the kind of love that will be manifested in your marriage to each other. May God bless you. Let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation, giver of all grace, bless and sanctify with your Holy Spirit in concern and service to the world. Through Jesus Christ. Grant that they may give their vows to each other and with one another all.
You can be doing this for the rest of your life. You know? <laughs> okay, um, you're gonna have the vow meeting at this time. And so I speak to Eval, and you will repeat after me. Uh, Reverend Phil, whether you do um, the vow to the sister. So, not like you're gonna do that after. Mm -hmm. Everyone, you repeat after me. In the name of God, you're yes. supposed to be looking very right oh. <laughs> <laughs> In the name of God, I, Everyone, Mohalan, take you, Tyra, Cordelia. Jones to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. In the name of God, I, Cyro, Two Fox. Yes, look embedded in his eyes. <laughs> so give her time to repeat after you. <laughs> I, I, Cyro Cordelia Jones, Cyro Cordelia Jones, take you, take you, Everard Mahalan, Everard Mahalan, to be my husband, to be my husband. To have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for better, for worse, for, worse, for richer, for richer, for poorer, for, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, until we are parted by death, until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. These rings are the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to us the union between Jesus Christ and his church. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may live in your peace and continue in your favor all the days of their life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Tyra, Tyra, I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow, and with all that I am, and this all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, all the way. Now the great thing you know you. <laughs> <laughs> I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now that Everald and Tyra have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, 
I announce to you that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one pull asunder. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Oh God, you have so consecrated the covenant of Christian marriage that in it is represented the covenant between Christ and his church. Send therefore your blessings upon Everett and Thyra that they may surely keep their marriage covenant and so grow in love and godliness together that their home may be a haven of blessing and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Which represent our individual lives. Which represent our individual lives. Together we light the unity candle. Together, Together we, we light the unity, unity candle. candle. Symbolizing our marriage. Symbolizing, symbolizing our, our marriage, marriage. And our union with God. And our union, union with God. God. In the name of the Father. In the name, name of the Father, Father. And of the Son. And, and of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. Both of you together. Nope. Light it. Like this one. Together. 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 Father <laughs> well, Savage, if you don't mind, could you just play something for us?
weather this morning to come and celebrate this occasion with us. And at some later point, we will have a little reception where you can come and celebrate and have fellowship together. May God continue to bless each and every one of you. Enjoy the rest of your day. God bless you and may he grant you his favor. Yes. Amen. Amen.